Hey guys, William here with uh, Those Two Dads, and um, in this episode we are going to cover the fairy dragon. So that is the fairy dragon egg with the cool little spikes coming out of it. Doesn't look too fairy, but it is. So the elements on that are, um, oh now I'm, I have a bunch of them, they need to go into the magic lab, definitely. Yeah, light and magic. So if you just breed your light dragon and your magic dragon, you have a chance of getting a fairy dragon. So let me see if I have any any of them close to level 10. I think it's just this level 7 right here. So I'm going to feed him up to level 10 for you guys so we can check out his hit points. Um, really pretty dragon. I, I love the, the fairy dragon. It, the colors are very, uh, very bright. Um... We'll go with gold. This is his last one. He'll be hanging here for a little bit until he goes into the magic lab. So that's a fairy dragon. Um, nothing too special about them. They are just very pretty and a nice addition to your habitat. So let's look up uh, his hit points. Yeah, so you definitely don't want to put this one into battle. Um, if you do, it's going to be a very short term, just for while you're leveling up some stronger dragons, maybe, um, just to get that magic and light attack into your, or light attack into your, uh, into your, um, lineup. But, um, definitely what you want to do with him is get him to a higher rare breeding so that you can try and get a gladiator dragon, which you need to open up the second breeding cave. So you either want to get a fairy dragon or a light magic dragon up to level 20, and get higher breeding for them for that gladiator dragon. But um, nothing too special on the fairy dragon. So uh, I'm not going to make this a long video. Just a quick uh, tutorial on him. But again guys if you've watched any of my videos I really appreciate it. And um, if, you like, if you like my videos hit that button. And subscribe to our channel Those Two Dads. Thank you.